So let's get into our meditation. Once again, glasses off if you wear them. I encourage you to close your eyes. Home position is hands open, fingertips apart. If you're sitting on a chair, if you can place your feet right on the ground, wonderful. If, you're, if you'd like to take off your shoes, I do always offer that option. It's nice to feel as relaxed as possible, to feel connected with the earth. You can sit on the ground, cross-legged, on a sofa, on a chair, whatever you are comfortable is absolutely fine. This is very simple, very sahaj. So palms open on our laps, eyes closed. Hopefully all of our sounds are off. Nothing is going to disturb us. There's nothing we need to think about. Let's bring our attention within ourselves. Let's take our attention away from our physical space, our room, wherever we are. Let's take attention, our attention, our focus away from our physical body, what we look like, what we feel like, or what we're feeling, any discomfort. Let's take our attention off of that as well. And let's bring our entire focus within. We may find ourselves surrounded by thoughts, mental activity, lots of thoughts buzzing around, as we go through these very simple gestures and affirmations, I encourage you to look for that silent space between your thoughts. If you've got a thought that comes in, if it's relevant, you really need to remember it, write it down. Take a break, write it down. Otherwise, let it go. It's not important right now. There's nothing we need to think about. Let's look for this present moment, the silence of this present moment the gap between our thoughts. And we'll start by taking our right hand and placing it on the left side of the heart. Or the left side of the chest, right over our hearts. At this level, the fourth energy center level at the heart level, this is where we have our relationship with ourself or our relationship with our pure self, our spirit. That self which is beyond our body, beyond our mind. That self which remains unchanged, which is lasting, which stays with us. That person, that me that we know when the lights are off from our childhood all the way through today, our pure self. So we can say from our heart silently, with our right hand on the heart, am I the spirit? Am I the pure self? Am I that pure self, that pure spirit? We'll then take our right hand to the lower part of the stomach, so near the left hip, right hand near the left hip. This is our, the place on our subtle system where knowledge resides. So in having this experience, this Sahaja first experience or repetitive experience of meditation, we want to really dive into pure knowledge. We're looking to find out what is truth. And the idea, the hypothesis is that truth lies within ourselves, the ability to recognize truth, truth, the source of truth, the connection with pure knowledge is within. So let's look for that, seek it, saying from our heart silently, I want to experience pure knowledge. I want to connect with truth, the absolute truth. that knowledge that can't be debatable, that truth that connects us all. Let's bring our right hand up to the upper part of the stomach. So right hand on the left side of the stomach, left of our navel.
This is the area that can, corresponds to our self mastery. If we're connected with truth, if we are able to tap into the source of pure knowledge, then we can be our own master. We are our own teacher, our own master, our own guru. So here we'll say silently from our hearts, I am my own master. Let's not think about all of the other masters that we follow, all of the other influences that tailor our or get in the way of our decisions or influence our decisions. Let's look at influencing our own decisions from within. I am my own master. Let's come back up to the heart, right hand on the left side of the heart. I am the pure spirit. Let's say it as a truth. Let's connect with that spirit within us. That me that we know eternally. Beyond time, beyond space, beyond physical appearance, beyond anything superficial. I am not this body. Ultimately, that's not what defines me. I am not this mind. It's important, but it also does not define me. These thoughts do not define me. I am the pure spirit. Let's then bring our right hand up to the left side of the neck, right hand on the left side of the neck and turn our head to the right. We want to open up this energy center by letting go of all guilt, all shame, all self blame. And so here we'll say from our hearts with full confidence, with full conviction, feeling those words from our hearts, I am not guilty. I don't blame myself for anything. I'm not guilty for anything whatsoever. I am not guilty. We'll then take our right hand up to the forehead, right hand across the forehead and bend our head forward. So we're resting our head into the palm of the right hand. This is a very important energy center. Obviously we're right at the level of our mind. Let's silence those thoughts by diving deep into the present moment. And we can do that through the power of forgiveness, through the aspect of forgiveness. It's a very simple technique, a very simple trick to create that silence in our minds. We can say from our hearts, recognizing that there's no reason to hold on to blame or resentment or anger or spite or the feeling to seek revenge. It won't change what's happened. Let's just forgive. So from our hearts, I forgive everyone. And I forgive myself. And if we can say that silently, deeply, with conviction, we might experience a very liberating passing moment of silence. I forgive everyone. And I forgive myself. Let's then take our right hand and place it on the crown of the head and gently massage that fontanelle bone area, that area that was soft in our infancy. So pressing and rotating. Our inner energy with our desire has the power to rise up from the base of the spine, from the sacrum bone, up the central channel and culminate at the crown of the head. As we rotate the scalp, let's express our desire from within to experience this happening because everything happens with our 
desire with our choice, with our free will. If we want it to happen, give this hypothesis the opportunity to be actualized. I want to experience my self realization. We can say silently from our hearts, I want to experience this happening, this union, this yoga. I want to experience my self realization. If this energy does exist, I want to open up this seventh energy center so that that which is within unites with that which exists all around me. So then raise our hand up about half an inch or an inch above the top of the head and see what we can feel close to or farther above the top of the head. What do we feel very close to the head? What do we feel farther above? Trying to dive into the present moment, no thought. There's nothing we need to think about. Nothing we need to analyze. What do we feel? We can switch hands. Let's bring our left hand back to our lap, palms open, and then bring our, our right hand rather back on our lap and our left hand Let's raise it up to the top of the head and see what we can feel as we hold our left hand, holding the palm above the crown of the head. What can we feel close to the head? What can we feel farther above? Let's again dive into this silence between our thoughts as we observe, like a scientist, the results of this experiment. What do we feel close to? What do we feel farther above? The crown of the head. Let's then bring our hand back to our laps, so palms open on our laps, fingertips apart. Let's keep our focus up and over the top of the head. Bring our complete focus, our complete attention up and over the top of the head. See if our awareness can be beyond our mind, above our thoughts, resting in those valleys. Seeing the expanse of the silence that exists once we tap into it. Patient with the process. The thought comes, it's just a blip on the screen, let it pass. Don't give it a second thought or a second look. Let it go. And focus on the spaces before and after thoughts. If you can bring your attention up and over the top of the head, No thought is important right now. Once you're there or once you're close to getting there into that state of meditation, thoughtless awareness. So no thought, but completely aware. Once you're getting close to that state, And it's a liberating state. It's a state that you have to navigate to. But once you're there, you can let go completely. Patient with the process. If any thoughts are still coming, disturbing you, bothering you, 
and take your hand back to the forehead, press the head into the palm of the hand. And once again, say from your heart, I forgive. I forgive everyone. And I forgive myself. And then bring the hand back to the lap. You can also raise your hand from the base of the spine to the top of the head, cupping your hand in front of you like you're raising a very gentle egg or it's very gentle energy that you're bringing up. You're encouraging these strands of energy to rise from the base of the spine to the top of the head. You can do that a few times. That's where we want our attention to be, right in that central channel, raising our inner, inner energy up from the base of the spine to the top of the head. Doing this very simple action may help. Utilize it if it helps you focus just so you can establish your attention up and over the top of the head. You can give that crown area another gentle massage again, and then slowly raise the hand up. See what you're feeling. Maybe close, maybe farther away. You can explore the difference very close to the head and farther above. And let's switch hands once again. What do we feel close to the head? What do we feel farther above? No thought, focusing in the present moment. Let's keep our focus above the top of the head as we bring our hand back to the lap. And let's hold our hands up in front of us at the level of the heart. So palms open at the level of the heart. Just bringing our focus into the palms of the hands, wherever our hands happen to be. We wanna bring our focus at this point into the hands, keeping our attention in that silent state of thoughtless awareness. Mm. Let's see what we are able to feel. If there's anything that we can sense on the hands, is there anything that we're feeling on the hands, on the palms of the hands, on the fingertips? Any sensations on one hand or the other? Just paying attention, taking note without thinking about it or analyzing it, just observing. Let's slowly bring our hands back to our lap, bring our meditation to an end, and open our eyes.